Muli, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at kung gabi niyo po ito pinapanood, magandang gabi po. At dumako na naman po tayo sa susunod nating leksyon which is a perfect square trinomial. Kagaya po sa difference of two squares, may mga requirement pong dapat sundin nang sa ganun ay ma-apply natin lahat ng steps on how to factor this trinomial. Let's say for example, x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is one of the many examples of a perfect square trinomial. Paano ko po yun nasabi? Perfect square trinomial ang isang trinomial kapag yung unang term is a perfect square. Ang una at ang huling term. Dapat po ay perfect square po silang dalawa. All right. Ulitin ko lang po, ano po ba yung mga perfect square? Perfect square ang number kapag kunin mo ang square root nito, whole number po ang labas. And kung sa variable naman, perfect square ang isang variable kapag yung exponent nito ay even number. And ito lang po ba yung mga requirement? Hindi. May kulang pa. Kailangan yung value ng middle term is twice the product of first and last term. And what do I mean? Again, the middle term or the value of the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and last term. Isa-isayin po natin. What is the square root of x squared? What is the square root of x squared? x And what is the square root of 4? 2. Okay. We will multiply 2 times x and that will give us 2x. And lastly, multiply by 2. What is 2 times 2x? 4x. Ibig sabihin, kung 4x ang middle term natin, This trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. Eh, paano kapag 6 to siya? Paano kapag 6? Perfect square trinomial pa rin ba? Ang sagot ay hindi. Hindi na. Dahil dapat 4x yung sa gitna. Okay, let's give another example of a perfect square trinomial. x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay. This trinomial is also a perfect square. Why? Because the first term is perfect square and the last term is also a perfect square. And how about the middle value or the middle term? Let's get first the square root of the first term. And the square root of the first term is x. And the square root of the last term is 5. Multiplying 5 times x, that will give us 5x times 2. Sir, kailangan ba parating may 2? Yes, because that is the law. The middle value should be twice the product of the square root of the first and last term. Kailangan po nating sundin. And 2 times 5x is 10x. And of course, as you can see, 10x is the middle term of the trinomial, meaning to say, this trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, naiintindihan po ba? Another example, kayo ang magsasabi kung perfect square trinomial ba ang given or hindi. Okay, I will give two examples. x squared plus 5x plus 4. Number 2, x squared plus 12x plus 36. Okay, dalawang given po. Isipin nyo po kung alin sa dalawa ang perfect square o hindi. Number 1, x squared plus 5x plus 4. Kung iisipin, kung titingnan natin, the first and the last term are perfect squares. 
But how about the middle term? Number two, first and last are also perfect squares. But how about the middle term? Is it twice the product of the square root of first and last? Solve it on your paper. Okay, I assume you're already done. Number one, x squared plus 5x plus 4. Let's answer here. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 4 is 2. Multiplying, that will give us 2x times 2. The middle term should be 4x. So number one is not a perfect square trinomial. How about number two? The square root of the first term is x and the square root of the last term is 6. Multiplying the two, that will give us 6x times 2 and that will give us 12x. Is 12x the middle term of number 2? Yes. Meaning to say, number 2 is a perfect square trinomial. Or, pst, <laughs> just kidding. Perfect square trinomial. Now, do you understand? 12x, hindi lang klaro sa video. Okay, pakita natin. Masyado kasing mababa. 6x times 2 is equal to 12x. Alright. So, 12x is the middle term. That's why 2 is a perfect square trinomial. So, the question next is, after knowing whether a trinomial is a perfect square or not, what should I do next? What are the steps to factor a perfect square trinomial? Now, these are all examples of perfect square trinomials. From 1 to 5, all of the first and last terms are all perfect squares. And the middle term are twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. So, lahat po yan sila. Example na po ng perfect square. So, the question here is, how do you factor a perfect square trinomial? Napakadali lang po. Kung sa difference of two squares, gumawa po tayo ng dalawang parentheses, parentheses raw po kasi plural form of parentheses is parentheses, dito naman po, isang parentheses lang ang gagawin natin. Yan. Okay. May isa na pong tayong parentheses at susundin natin yung sign ng middle term. Kapag positive yung middle term, plus din yung nasa loob. Kung minus naman or negative naman yung sign ng middle term, minus din po yung sa loob ng parenthesis. So for number one, we have the sign of the middle term which is a positive, positive term. So ibig sabihin, last to dito. Okay, and what's next? Kukunin nyo lang po ang square root ng first and last term. What is the square root of x squared? x. What is the square root of 16? 4. And do not forget, do not forget to put the exponent 2 on your final answer. This is now the factored form of this polynomial the quantity of x plus 4 squared again wag na wag niyo pong kalimutan yung squared sa taas kung sasabihin niyo sa teacher niyo ay sir nakalimutan po mali pa rin pala, mali, mali pa rin yun hindi pwedeng kalimutan yung 2 as the exponent number 2 same lang po 1 parenthesis and follow the sign of the middle term which is negative, so minus yan dyan. Square root of the first term is x. Square root of the last term, 10. The square root of 100 is 10. And do not forget, square as the exponent. Number 3. Open and close parentheses. Follow the sign of the middle term, which is a negative, so minus. Square root of the first term, x. Square root of the last term, 1. Then squared. 
Okay. Number four. Kung titingnan nyo, parang mahirap-hirap konti, pero ulitin ko, huwag nyo lang tingnan, dapat sagutin nyo. Para nang malaman nyo na hindi po yan mahirap. The sign of the middle term is plus. The square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 1 is 1. And do not forget the square as the exponent. The last number. Pareho lang din po. Number 4 and num number 5 kung titingnan mahirap. The square root of 9, ah uh, no. Follow first the middle term. The sign of the middle term. So minus po tayo dyan. Iita natin ang konti. Square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of y squared is y. And wag na wag pong kalimutan yung 2 na exponent ng sagot. So yun lamang po yung paraan ng pag-factor ng perfect square trinomial. Sana po ay naintindihan nila. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Goodbye. Stay safe.